All right, guys. Hi, we are back. We're jumping into Tony Cow Over the Moon for You, season two, episode one. I just watched episode zero. So episode zero was something. It was quite something to just kind of get into. <laughs> It was something. Um, so now we're jumping into episode one, and I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it just as much. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, damn. Oh, was, he was actually in uniform here, wasn't he? Oh. This girl is still sus. <laughs> She's still sus. On the mouth this time? Was that a cheek? <laughs> Her neither, bro. <laughs> Sus. <laughs> like, is, is Tony Kao flying me to the moon? Because it's literally Tony Kao over the moon for you. So it's kind of... I mean, I guess you can say it's like the same, but it's like... Look at her go off, oh, sis. Sis that has traveled through generations. I, they are being blunt about that right now. Like, great, another show to make me feel super lonely. Yeah, this is just what I need right now, bro. This dude. <laughs> <laughs> she was basically like a ridiculous shark movie that just has a bunch of crazy stuff happening. I always hate this personally. It's like, be patient. We all have work to do. Like, I'd be so annoyed if this happened to me, I think. It's like, come on. Don't, like, let the person work. We have time after. Yes, I know. I get it. You want that. But like, let him finish his work. See, when he finishes, perfect, that's fine. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> You're not even watching the movie. Dang. <laughs> The wedding dress. I want that. What is that? I love asparagus. I, mean, I don't. I don't know if that's asparagus. It, it looks a little thin. But is that wrapped in some type of meat? Whatever that is, I want it. <gasps> Miso soup, y'all. Damn, that would make me feel a little some type of way. Why I'd say it like that? How can a wedding dress be embarrassing? <laughs> Ooh, dang. <laughs> Whoa. Well, you asked her and just threw her opinion out the window. In a week? Mm. Uh huh? Oh, yeah, okay, clearly. 
But he's going off! <laughs> Wait, did he say a reservation for two? <laughs> what? I was about to say. <laughs> well, no, he started off good, right? Or wait, oh, hold on, wait, do you buy? Oh my god, I don't know, because I never think about this. I, don't, I never think of the wedding day situation. I'm not like, I dream of a wedding, like, never. Um, but I thought he was doing good. You call a venue, but then afterwards, if the venue is okay, and they have that day available, then you plan the other stuff, catering, guests. But isn't it right to call the venue first? Or is it because you should? I don't think you have to get a wedding planner. But like, I think it's good to book the venue first, right? I like to ask about availabilities. Not for two, though. <laughs> that shit's expensive. And I, I'm sure it varies, but... I, I'm sorry. I never know by heart the conversion. What is that? It must be pretty bad. <laughs> yep, that's a huge difference in numbers. And there's the reality check. I was watching a Netflix show that was literally like wedding or mortgage. <laughs> it's literally like either like pe like couples that have like thirty thousand dollars. It's basically okay. It's basically a show where there's a real estate agent and a wedding planner, and they butt heads. Basically, they get a client. This client comes on the show. They have like thirty k, forty k, or whatever it is they want to work with. And the wedding planner has to show what she can do and offer them if they were to go with her for a wedding. And then the real estate agent would show them what they could get as their dream house if they were to choose a home. So they go, they, they plan the wedding, they show you what this would all look like, what it would be with the amount that they have, or the down payment for the house. And then they had to choose wedding or mortgage. Like, bro, I'm sorry. If it was ever a wedding or a house, I'm not picking the wedding. That is like 30 plus thousand dollars on a wedding. I'm sorry. If I have that kind of bank, then fine. But if I'm at a situation where I'm picking between my house and my wedding, <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Yes, it should be cheaper. But you can have way more discreet weddings. You can 1000% have cheaper, more discreet weddings. <laughs> what? I actually don't even watch, I've never watched Detective Conan, so I have no, I don't know, like, you know, but I knew who he was, and, and clearly that was a BL shape, and I'm here for it, sis. I think that's true, but some is the opposite. Yeah, there would be strangers. I do have enough family that, like, they would come just because we're family. Maybe, maybe. But they're mostly in the States, anyways. Guy, how the father's family pay for it, bruh? I'm sorry, what did I just say? How have the have the wife's father pay for it? Like the wife's family pay for it. Oh my god! What the heck? Sisa, uh, it's like a dowry? And I think it's usually the wife's family. <laughs> yeah, but they, when did they start? <laughs> Yo, this is such a 
legit episode right now. Like, I can't. People's availabilities, uh, reservations, and also demand. <laughs> the demand and just... They all have to be able to be there. It's like just like a guarantee for the event, like... <laughs> yes, they do that. Yes. Don't worry. I feel like when you reach a certain time in your life, it's a vibe. Like to plan such a grand event of your life and your love. Bro, then go looking at wedding dresses and then say never mind and then leave. <laughs> I want to know why it's called sexy. <laughs> Yo, the people surrounding them really help them with their lives. <laughs> It makes perfect sense. Buying it alone is a bit more sad. <laughs> oh, I was like, I thought it was going to be like a popsicle. <laughs> I wonder if this season is going to consist of them actually getting the wedding. The opening had like a wedding, so it's like... <laughs> he is a sweetheart! Yeah, I mean, look, the wedding is really a luxury. It's a luxury, the ceremony. I agree. I agree. They got together so young. They can have a wedding ceremony. They can save to have the best one of their lives. Honestly, like, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about that right now. At all. At all. Like, what? Y'all have time for something like that. Yeah, like, are you kidding? They have time to see how long they last as a couple, too. They just get, it's so much better. Like, I got a lot of time, so. Bro, your futon is there. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Bro, this show catch me off guard. Let me. <laughs> You guys can go shopping and then not actually buy, right? Exactly! Oh, you already know! Aww! Cute! Oh my god, stop! Stop, so precious! <laughs> You know what, honestly, they're actually really comfortable when they're by themselves, which I didn't quite expect. You would think that, like... They're really comfortable when they're alone. Well, no, they're still shy and, and bashful and stuff, but they can get really comfortable when they're alone. That was cute. Oh, because of you. Oh, gosh. Okay, well... <clears throat> it's over the moon. The other day, someone in town asked me, are you happy right now? That does? <laughs> All right. All right, so there you have it. As usual, lovely, fun episode. I'm so happy to have this show back. I love it, I really do. 
Um, yeah, wedding, wedding ceremonies, y'all. I'd love to hear y'all in the comments. How many of y'all are married? How many of y'all want to be married? How many of y'all don't care? How many of y'all, if it happens, if it happens, if it happens, it happens, if it doesn't, it doesn't. How many of y'all don't want to get married? Okay, I don't mean married, a wedding, by the way, like a wedding ceremony. So how many of y'all are married and had a wedding ceremony? Do any of y'all regret it? <laughs> Getting the tea. <laughs> How many of y'all dream of wedding ceremony? How many of y'all do not at all? How many of y'all don't want a wedding ceremony? How many of y'all are indifferent in terms of like, you don't even think about it? Or if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. How many of y'all would put 30,000 on a wedding instead of a mortgage for a house? Which mind you, 30K is kind of low these days. I'm on the side of I would not invest a ton of money like unless the money is somewhat easily attainable like let's say i reach a point in my life where like saving money makes it easy to rack up a, a 10 times k you feel me if it makes it easy maybe at that point i'll feel more comfortable just like oh sure let's have a wedding blah blah who knows but it depends on where i am in my life i guess but a wedding is not anything i've ever like dreamed of like i don't sit here dreaming of like oh my wedding day i have to have this i have to have that i like never think of this I don't value it as number one. Like I wouldn't, if I'm trying, if I'm in between like putting a bunch of money down for a house versus a wedding, I wouldn't pick a wedding. Yes, yeah, whatever. It's kind of scary putting that much money down on a wedding to be honest, but it's whatever. Depends. Usually, mind you, by the time you're trying to get married, you are not alone. Meaning that it's not like you're shoving, hopefully anyways, like the whole quantity from your own savings or pocket. It's like a combination of the two of you. So, um, yeah, it all depends, I guess. But I'd love to hear your thoughts, I guess. Um, and for them, in this case, absolutely not. They have no business rushing into a wedding. They have enough time to reach... They can, Honestly, they should get their wedding in their like mid-20s to 30s type vibe. That's when they should maybe consider if they want a wedding or whatever. Because like they have so much time to just enjoy being married and all that stuff while saving money, while thinking about everything until they perfect it and really get the dream that they want and hopefully they get to know more people in their lifetime and then they'll have more people come to the wedding. I'm just, no rush, no rush at all. But if she wants to show herself in a wedding, that's a different story. Hit the local store. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I really enjoyed this episode one of Tony Cow Over the Moon for you, season two. Um, I glad I, I'm glad I got to watch two episodes back to back. So the first one I might post is episode zero. So if you're watching this, episode zero probably came out first, and then this episode probably came out a little later. But yeah, so guys, that's it. I will end it here. Thanks so much for watching. Leave how you feel your thoughts down below in the comments. No spoilers, please. And I'll see you all again in my next videos. So thank you and bye.